Was this a wake up call game? All right, welcome back to the One Bar in Lopagus show. I'm One Bar with Lopagus. Vikings get absolutely spanked. But guess what? Sun was shining this morning. Coffee was warm. Sun might be shining. It's a new day, baby. It's a new day. We're going to look at this. Was this a wake-up game? A wake-up that the Vikings maybe need? A little kick in the ass. A wake-up call for the Vikings. Yeah, we'll talk about that before we do. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like the vids. We are closing in on 9,000 subscribers. Cannot wait to get there. we still got ways to go, but we'll get there. Also, that lip bridge. Get a little bridge store. Deliciousness. Pure deliciousness for the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, all right. So let's talk about Minnesota Vikings. 8-1 uh, heading this game. You know, they're up number one in power rankings. You know, you got Kyle Brandt making this awesome video about Kirk Cousins and his dadism. So, I mean, they're getting all this hype, getting a lot of love. And all of a sudden they shit the bed. So is this a wake up call for the Vikings? They didn't shit the they shit the bed like I mean they did everything possible in that bed and uh, shit was, the bed and they humped it. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I mean you got to look at it from we got to find some positive spin. So clearly we're gonna go the route like hey maybe this is what this team needed. They're on such a high they needed to come back to reality. So that's the angle we're taking and. I mean, they. I guess they didn't really need a wake up call. They're they're pretty damn good football team. But I, I, I like the fact that we're gonna see how this regime, how this team bounces back because we haven't seen that yet because we haven't had the opportunity. I think. I mean, I think there's two things here. It could have been a bit of a wake up call. Number one, maybe they were buying into their own hype a little bit. Uh, you win these close games against you know Buffalo on the road. You go to Washington. You squeak out one there. So you start thinking, you know, whatever we do, we're going to win these games. So maybe there was some of that going on and you know, looking at the rankings. They were definitely following along because, I mean, we saw guys tweeting about the disrespect uh, just last week. So I think there's part of that. And also part of the need to wake up is uh, they need to realize their depth is horseshit, especially on the O-line. If they think they can just put Blake Brandle out there and be fine, uh, that's the wake-up call I think is going to really be taken from this. So if, you know, Christian Derrissaw is not going to go Thursday, you got to have help for Brandle because – uh, the, the New England Patriots have some very good pass rushers, too, so you have to make up for that. So wake up there knowing that your depth on the O-line is complete ass. Yeah, uh, a few wake-up positions uh, definitely stood out yesterday. So, again, the, the best part for me is when this happened. This happened early in the – I mean, we're still 8-2. and two. Nobody's jumping ship. If you're jumping ship, shame on you. You deserve a spanking if you're jumping ship. We're 8-2, and two, second best record of the NFC still, but this happened at the perfect time. Because it's the middle season. I mean, if this was right before the playoffs or something, that would have been horrible. So we'll see. I I guess I'll call it a wake-up call. Let's see how they react. Kevin O'Connell, yeah. let's see how you bounce back, buddy. A couple of looking back at history. I think it was the Bucks. They lost about by 30, and they went on to win the Super Bowl. Uh, even go back to Vikings history, uh, didn't they get rolled by Seahawks regular season at uh, whatever the hell the Gopher Stadium was? It's like 40 to 7 or something. I think Cordell Patterson had a – Kick return touchdown and start dancing. And then, you know, the Seahawks come to town in the playoffs, and that was the Blair Walsh missed field goal game the Vikings should have won. So, even though you get your ass rolled in regular season, doesn't mean if we face the Cowboys, this is going to happen again. But I like what you said. When this happened, now you got a chance to bounce back. It's a short week, which I think is a huge plus for his team. Get this nasty ass taste out of your mouth. Come back pissed off on Thanksgiving, uh, you know, and just stuff the shit out of those Patriots. Let's hope so. But like you said, Blake Brand will be out there. Uh, what, what's scary about this, and we'll talk about this, I'm sure, in another video. But there's uh, – it would be very interesting to see when he's even back on the field. They already ruled him out for Thursday. I mean, if that's already happening, two concussions, two weeks in a row, very, very scary. Vikings need to do some work on that old waiver wire free agency. Yeah, again, but, I mean, you're going to be stuck with Brandle this week, so give him help. Tight end over there. Should be someone attached to his hip, CJ Ham, tight end, whatever. Uh, but, yes, Vikings, definitely a wake-up call here. Maybe they bit, bit in the hype a little bit. Maybe it was a little bit of a hangover from a very emotional win at Buffalo. Whatever the case, the Vikings, uh, they need to wake up and get back on the uh, schneid. I don't know what that is. I was going to say choo-choo train, but uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> bounce back. Let's see how they bounce back, baby. Let's go. It's in the past. Let's look toward to the Patriots. Let's do it. Remember this. Studies show that walking through a doorway causes memory lapses, which is why we often walk into another room and forget why.